back to CTN. I'm your host, Robert Van Sluten. Let's get started. In your travels around the documentation, you've probably seen references to XIB files and NIMP files. An XIB file is an XML representation of a views design. In other words, it, the view hierarchy, graphical design done in Interface Builder. Now when you're doing, when you're editing a storyboard, you're in Interface Builder, but this is just for one view. A nib, stands for Next Step Interface Builder, is a compiled XIB. It's a binary. Of course, we've been working with storyboard files and what a storyboard actually is, is a collection of XIBs and metadata about the interrelationship between them. Now, what happens is storyboard files get compiled and a directory called storyboard C is created, which contains a collection of nib files, NIBs, and a plist, which defines the metadata. Let's go over to Xcode and we'll start exploring these concepts. What I have is a tab-based application called Explorer, and we're looking at the storyboard. There's three view controllers with a relationship between them. So we have three nib files. Now, I can actually look at the XML source for the storyboard in Xcode. Now, you would never modify this. Let's go back to the graphic representation. Now, as I mentioned in the previous slide, this gets compiled and a storyboard C directory gets created. Now, to pursue that, I've made a modification to this application in the application delegate.m. I get the path to the application bundle, NS bundle main bundle bundle path, and I output that to the log. I've already run this. So now I have the path to the bundle. We're going to go to the next slide. We're going to go to the terminal, and we're going to look at the storyboard C directory. Okay, I'm in the terminal, and my current working directory is the application directory. So I'm one level above the bundle. If I take a look at what's in here, we have our documents and our temp directory that we've seen before from data persistency, and there's an explorer.app, which is the bundle for the explorer application. If I go down into that directory, so I'm now in the bundle, there's some files here. Explorer is the executable. You see the info.plist. The thing we're interested in at this point is base.lproj. And the reason there's a directory here is for internationalization, which we're not going to talk about in this episode. But if I go into that, There is a main.storyboard C file. That is the compiled storyboard. It's also a directory. If I go down into that level, let's do an ls minus l this time. We have three dot nib files and a info dot 
P list. So we have three compiled XIBs and metadata for the storyboard. Let's go back into Xcode and we'll talk about what an XIB is. Now to dig deeper into the XIB concept, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to create an empty application. And I'm going to simply call this empty. What we end up getting is very bare bones. We get an application delegate, we get an assets file, and we get our standard supporting files, our .m, our plist, pre-compiled headers, and some strings. There's no user interface components whatsoever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file files actually. This is going to be Objective-C class. And I want a subclass of view controller. And I want to make sure that with XIB for user interface is turned on. Just put it in the group. Doesn't really matter. What I end up getting is three files. I get a viewcontroller.h, a viewcontroller.m, and a viewcontroller.xib. Let's take a look at the xib. We're not in a storyboard. We're in an interface builder editor for the xib. We have a view here and if you take a look for example over in the library you notice there's a standard set of controls and other views that I can drag in however the list of possible view controllers isn't there this is the representation of one view there is a corresponding view controller of the same name, and when this view controller is instantiated, it will look for a nib file of the same name, dot nib. This actually, historically, is the way you used to design prior to Xcode I think 4.5, where you'd have to individually design the high-level views for each view controller. There was no notion of a storyboard where you'd have the entire user interface on the screen and you showed the interrelationships between the various view controllers. Let's go to the next slide and we're actually going to hook this up and run it. To make our empty application actually do something, I've done two things. I've dragged a label into the view in the XIB file. And it simply said, hello world. Very classic. And in the application delegate.m file, When the application launches, I added one line of code under the provided comment override point for customization. What this does is in self.window, there is a window, it's the root of the view hierarchy. It wants a property called root view controller. 
and I've went ahead and I've set that equal to a CTN view controller that I've instantiated with alloc init. Of course, I've included the header file for CTN view controller. So now that view controller is the root for the window. If I go ahead and actually run this, build and run, we get our hello world. We've achieved a yet another hello world program. Let's go to the next slide and we're going to talk about one more issue. Okay, last but not least, there's always multiple ways of doing things. I'm still in my empty application here. If I say new file and rather than selecting Cocoa Touch, if I select user interface over here, I have a couple options. I can create a view, for example, and we'll just call that view.xib. I end up with an XIB file and I can actually edit that in Interface Builder. Now, if I created a view controller without an XIB with the same name, I wouldn't want to call it view, but I could. I'd be in the same situation we were previously. Alternatively, I could have created a storyboard named it main for example told the application that that's the storyboard and configuration went in dragged in a view controller from the library I would have had the same configuration as picking a single view application from the template. That's it. I hope this detail gives you a better understanding of the underlying mechanisms behind the application and Xcode. Let's go to our photo. little bit underwater photography. Thanks for watching.